Welcome to Victory Videos. I'm Dave Dobbins. And I'm Eve McHugh. And on today's program, we're going to be featuring how female recording artists are impacting Christian music today. From as early as the late 1970s, women have been coming to the forefront of Christian music. But never before have we seen so many come to the microphone with the singing message about their love for Jesus Christ as we're seeing today with the female artists in the 1990s. We will explore in today's program what female artists are the most vocal and involved in ministry and music today. We'll also pose the question, has the church begun to open up more recently? And is it because of the Holy Spirit, the openness of the Holy Spirit due to today's female artist influence or, or not? It should prove to be an interesting program. Yes, it should. There's nothing like a comeback after three years' absence, especially if your name is Amy Grant. Mm. We figured we'd start out with a lady who's making the most noise in Christian music industry today. She's done what many only aspire to do. She's crossed over to the mainstream market and is going places no other female artist has gone before. We'll start off today's program with Amy Grant's number two Billboard hit, Every Heartbeat, followed by a new look in Christian music today an all-girl group called Rachel Rachel with their video, I Will Stand By You, two in a row on Victory Videos.
Thanks for joining us on today's program. In the 70s and 80s, there were only a few women in the Christian recording industry. Some who've come to mind in earlier years include Sandy Patty, Debbie Boom, Michelle Pilar, Twyla Paris, and Amy Grant, who we just saw in earlier. There was more of a void in the 80s than there, was, than there is now in the 90s. In the 90s, there seems to be a new crop of women in all mm -hmm. kinds of rock music. Some of the new rosters lists include Margaret Becker, Kim Hill, Trace Balin, Angie Allen, Renee Garcia, Crystal Lewis, Denise Williams, Julie Miller, Kathy Tricoli, Rachel Rachel, who we just saw, Susan Ashton, Lexi, C.C. Winans of BB and C.C. Winans, Patty Cabrera, Wendy Kaiser of the group Rez, Nicole Bruce, Sheila Walsh, and the list goes on and on. Why more women recently? In the Bible it says in the last days, His Spirit will be moving to and fro. This may be a direct result of God's, what God is doing in, in the spirit realm. He is moving inside the hearts of all God's people. Yeah, I like it inside mm -hmm. of all of God's people, men and women. Well, here's Kim Boyce to prove that his love is good enough for her because uh, she's been singing about it for years now. Here's Kim Boyce and Good Enough on Victory Videos. She said, but son, don't you think you've lost your mind over religion? I said, Mama, if I have, it's wonderful. And I hope you lose yours right away.
Stay tuned for more Victory Videos with Sparrow Records recording artist Margaret Becker up next on Victory Videos. It makes life safer to have rules. Yeah, if you didn't have rules, someone would get hurt. You shouldn't make noise on the bus because sometimes the bus driver, he needs his ears to hear everything. Like uh, when you have to stop by the train tracks. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't stay too close to the curb, otherwise you could get flattened or something. You should walk at least 10 feet away from the bus so you can see the driver and the driver can see you. It's very cool to follow the rules. Gosh, Darlene, it sure is amazing how much we have in common. I know, Larry. We both love three-car pileups. We both were built in Buffalo. And we both know wearing safety belts helps save thousands of lives. Yeah, this is fascinating. Don't mind Vince. He's getting over a bad break. I know. Janet's picking up the pieces, too. They're in here. I wish they understood it's all worth it to get people to buckle up. Hey, lacerated lovebirds, I sense a major crush. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. Talk about head over heels. That was Kim Boyce with the message we all need to hear. It was good enough for our mom and dad. It's still good enough for me. Up next, a close look at a woman in rock who's making a strong impact with her electric guitar and lyrical content. As well, we'll see her in her next video, Streets of Innocence. But first, here's David with Margaret Becker as she shares from her heart on Victory Videos. And Dave Dobbins, and welcome to this, our special segment on Victory Videos, and we have with us today, Margaret Becker. Hi, Margaret. Hi. Welcome back to our program again. Thank you. Good to see you. Um, you have been, as I said a little earlier, you've been coming back into this, the Cincinnati area for quite a bit lately, and what keeps bringing you back? I don't know. It seems to be <laughs> a good market for us, yeah. I think. Good. Um, you just released your newest album, uh, Simple House on Sparrow. Um, sounds like, from what I have been reading, uh, that God has been doing some house cleaning in your life. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, Christianity can be a very complicated thing or a very simple thing. Mm -hmm. And for me, I feel like it needs to be a simple thing in order to be effective. A simple faith built on loving one another and loving Christ with all, with all our hearts and souls and mm -hmm. minds. And I'm just trying to do that the best that I can, and then I, I think all the other peripheral matters will be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. That's neat. So um, it seems like there's been a lot of growth uh, in what I'm hearing in your music and uh, what I see in your eyes since we last sat. It was about, what, about two years ago you were on our program? Seems like yeah, it, yeah. and and uh, so there's been a lot of things that have been happening. Um, let's talk about other people's expectations about your performance, your ministry, and, and how hard is it out there when you don't do the kind of things that make them happy? How frustrating is that? Mm -hmm. I think, uh, unfortunately, we've gotten into this habit in Christianity of criticizing one another for our personal preferences. Mm -hmm. And of course, someone like myself, I am, uh, my whole entire life is built around sharing the wonderful mm -hmm. joy that I get from actually being friends, quote unquote, with God. So people feel like if you allow yourself to be seen that way, we have a right to tell you the proper way mm. to respond to God. And it's um, been very frustrating because, quite honestly, Christianity has a lot of diversification within it. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm the type of person who likes to please people, so I found myself for the past couple of years trying to do what everyone else expected, even though there were so many contradictions right down the line. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally I came to a point where I just said, what is it that you want me to do? And mm -hmm. in prayer... Uh, felt very strongly about certain things that I'm supposed to do and certain things that other people are supposed to do. And just mm -hmm. to stick by those things and realize that, you know, God can work in people's lives the way I can expect, the way you can expect, mm -hmm. and the way we don't expect to. Good. Well, we're going to uh, look at one of your videos. What do you think? We're going to watch uh, Streets of Innocence. You want to tell us a little bit about that quickly? Streets of Innocence is a song that just reminds me that um, there are lots of things in this life to be pursued, but really the most valuable thing is remaining innocent. Because when you're innocent, God is free to move within your life and correct situations or shield you from situations. And innocence doesn't depend on ourselves. Mm -hmm. It depends on daily going to that, to God and, and looking for a relationship there. Mm, I like that. Well, let's, uh, let's go to the video now. Uh, this is Margaret Becker and a song called Streets of Innocence on Victory Videos. Come on, sing it. 
Hey, stay tuned for more Victory videos and our mainstream segment with Ashley Cleveland, music update, and Indigo Girls' newest video, up next. Books, check them out. Books, check them out. Pick up a book. You got a fantasy? Imagination can take you to where you want to be. Are you curious? How can you find out? Books, check them out. Books, check them out. Read about stars and cars, play electric guitars, or cops that work hard, patrolling the boulevard, the heavyweight champ and his craziest bow. Books, check them out. Books, check them out. At your library. As sisters and brothers, we need this strength from each other. For only then we'll hope begin. Reach out, experience the joy within. The Salvation Army salutes those who give of themselves for the good of others. It's time for Victor Video's music update. The Newsboys recently won the Silver Award at the Houston International Film Festival for the video Simple Man. The video was chosen among 12 other videos in the religious music video category. Now the Newsboys also have a new album recorded called Boys Will Be Boys. <laughs> they have announced a new keyboard man, Corey Pryor, this is the first time they've had a keyboard guy, in the group, and Vernon Bishop on guitar, so the group's expanding. Keep it up, you down under boys. Mirror Records has released a special edition of Cornerstone 91, a cassette featuring one song from each of the greats, like the choir, Russ Taft, Phil Kagey, David Mullins, Randy Stoney on One Bad Pig, Holy Soldier, but however, all of these tracks can be found on the artist's latest releases. What's new here, Eve? Uh, there are selections from some of the unsigned artists that will be playing the festival's new artist showcase. Mm -hmm. According to CCM Magazine, these new artists include Over the, Over the Rhine, which is from Slow Cincinnati, a new group, uh, John Austin and the Embarrassing Young, Absence of Ceramics, Donder Fluger, Black Carnation, and Veg. These are all new groups. So if you weren't able to attend Cornerstone 91, which is up in the Chicago area, mm -hmm. this will be a real treat for the team listener. Whiteheart will have toured in Germany by news with DC Talk as an opening act. And DeGarmo Key is in the midst of their Go to the Top tour in Australia in conjunction with a Youth for Christ national fundraising program. Yeah. The tour will continue the biblical literacy emphasis with ongoing sponsorship from the NIV Student Bible as well as the upcoming release of the first album-based curriculum, Go to the Top, published by Gospel Light. Yeah, that's supposed to be very, very good. Yes, I bet it is. In metal news for you, Metal Freaks, Ken Tamplin has released a second solo album for Intense Records. And if you like blues, watch for this new metal group called Love Life. With a new release on new blonde vinyl records is getting a lot of action. Also for you GLAD fans, a new release called GLAD the Symphony Project with the London Symphony Orchestra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their best release to date is also supported by some of the new videos hopefully coming soon. That's what's happening. That's what's happening in Victor Video's music update. I'm Dave Dobbin. And I'm Ethan McHugh for Victor Video's update. Stay tuned for more right after this. Victory Videos in cooperation with EMI and Word Records are offering a free CD cassette giveaway today. Featuring groups like the OJs and their album Emotionally Yours. Just send your postcard to Victory Videos. Also as a special bonus, chart topper Amy Grant with her newest release Heart in Motion. Featuring the big hit Every Heartbeat. Enjoy the album that has changed the course of Christian and pop music. Bonus, you can receive this CD cassette giveaway from the Mid-South Boys. Featuring their laid-back down-home pop country album, a little country called Tabernacle. Just send your postcard to Victory Videos and specify CD or cassette preferences, and you win all of these songs. And we worked all day and we slept all night. We were proud and stood tall. And for you rockers, this is a special bonus you receive Christian all-women band Rachel Rachel with her album Way to My Heart. Featuring this great song, Wayward Son. Remember to specify CD or cassette. Remember, this giveaway includes all these artists, victory videos, and a special 3D cassette giveaway. Write us today. There was a time when people helped their neighbors 
and together they built a stronger community. This spirit lives on today in NeighborWorks, a unique partnership of local residents, business, and government leaders. NeighborWorks volunteers have rebuilt over 100,000 homes, restoring pride to millions of neighbors. So help a neighbor and a nation join NeighborWorks, reversing decline, rebuilding pride. Welcome back to Victory Videos, I'm Dave Dobbins. In keeping with our theme on today's program about women in music, up next we feature our mainstream segment. Now these are recording artists who are signed by mainstream record labels, but are putting forth a positive value message. First we're going to hear about the subject of dating from a new rising star and a good friend of Margaret Becker's. Here's Ashley Cleveland and her video, Willie. Followed by another female group that's doing some interesting recordings and appearances, it's Indigo Girls and Hammer and the Nail, two in a row on Victory Videos.
That was Indigo Girls and Hammer in the Nail. So many great songwriters have composed from the heart for centuries, including David in the Bible, all the way to today. But today, more women have decided to take a stand for Christ. The openness of the church may be attributed to the increased awareness of the need for the message of Christ to be told by Christian men and women. God is using so many to tell his story through salvation, through acceptance of his son, Jesus Christ. Up next, a lady who sings with conviction as we join Margaret Becker in her part two interview with Dave Dobbins, followed by a new video called For the Love of You on Victory Videos. Dave Dobbins back with Margaret Becker. Margaret, last year you toured with Michael W. Smith on his Eye to Eye tour. Um, what was that experience like, and, and how does that differ from your 40-city tour that you're now having with Charlie Peacock? Mm. Um, on the Eye to Eye tour, we had a lot of fun, really. We plugged into Michael's uh, vision, basically, and supported him in it. On this tour, Charlie's plugging into my vision, and we're creating a joint vision. Mm -hmm. um, I think this tour probably holds a lot more affinity you know, in my heart, uh, I have a lot more affinity for it just because um, Charlie and I are a, a lot closer in vision than, you know, Michael and I perhaps were. And and um, although it was enjoyable to be on the eye-to-eye -eye tour, I mean, I know Chuck a lot better, you know, and he's like a brother. So mm -hmm. it's just been a real wonderful family-like experience. That's great. Well, let's talk a little bit about that uh your fourth album project, and we still call them al albums mm. nowadays, we just I call them so. projects. Mm -hmm. Your CD project, Simple House on Sparrow, uh, was produced by Charlie Peacock. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like? Very good. He's, this is the second time I've worked with him. He's mm -hmm. very thorough and talented yeah. at what he mm -hmm. does. Now, when you go out and tour and you're out giving so much every night, besides getting tired, you know, because it's hard to tour, what does God do inside of Margaret. Mm -hmm. I think I'm real fortunate in that music is my has always been my passion. It's been my dream. Some people spend their entire lives trying to find their dream. You know, for me, music has been my dream, and my passion in my music has been to talk about this relationship that has been so overwhelmingly um, wonderful in my life. So every night when I'm playing and getting to fulfill those two things. Basically, what's going on is I'm getting renewed and I'm getting filled up and I'm Great. I'm enjoying myself. I'm uh, enjoying the fact that many people, you know, never get to even taste a piece of their dream. And this mm -hmm. is my dream, you know, so mm -hmm. there Amen. can't be anything bad about it for me. That's great. Well, um, what we're going to do is go to another one of your videos and uh, I'd like to uh, thank you for being with us and tell us a little bit about uh, For the Love of You. For the Love of You is basically uh, a thank you song I wrote many, many years ago, 1984, I think. Uh, I never want to love God because he, he is, uh, you know, the, the, benef the person who brings all the blessings in my life. Mm -hmm. I want to love God because apart from everything else, he's God. Mm -hmm. He created us. I sincerely believe that. Mm -hmm. I, I look at my hand and I, I think... How did that happen out of a cell that's not an accident? Anyone who's had a child mm -hmm. realizes that there are no accidents, mm -hmm. you know, that all things have been planned. And when you think of that, in light of that, there's got to be some creator. And I firmly believe it's Jesus Christ. And Amen. he deserves everything I can give him mm, apart from anything else that he might or might not do for me. Mm -hmm. Great. Well put. Well, Margaret, thanks for being with us today Thank on Victory you. Videos. God bless you. And uh, what we're going to do is watch your video now. And this is for you, Margaret Becker, and for the love of you on Victory Videos. I know there is the obvious, your blessings and your peace. Well, what if all your benefits were to suddenly decrease? I want my motivation for loving you to be Just for the love, for the love of you Not for what it brings For the love, for the love of you Let me do all things Not for what you But just for
joy you bring and the thought of eternal life. I love the way you gentle me every time I cry. I know there is no other way, no better way to live. But which one do I love the most? You are what you give. For loving you to be Just for the love For the love of you Not for what it brings For the love For the love of you Let me do all things Not for what you do But just for Two months ago, the only job this woman could take was one where she could take her son with her. What do you do when there's no one to watch him but you? She's getting help at a daycare center. They got help from the United Way, all because the United Way got help from you. The United Way, it brings out the best in all of us. My friend Nancy's been doing a lot of drugs. I know it's catching up with her. I can see it coming. But what can I do? If I like say anything, she'll think I'm not cool. And I don't want to lose a friend. I mean, it's her life. Right? If you have a friend who's in trouble with drugs, don't just stand there. Do something. are the steel, the building blocks when dreams turn real. You are the soul and you are the pen, the gentle rain, the mighty wind. You, so many depend on you. You are the hope, you are the start. You are the hands, you are the heart. You are the united way. You have the will, you have the times you give, all the times you take See the difference, one you can make You are the united way You have the will, you have the way You are the united way It starts with you That was the fine tune Margaret Becker with For the Love of You. From Amy Grant's early efforts to the soft breeze of Michelle Pillar's voice to the wails of Wendy Kaiser Rez, it's clear, women have a clear message for today from the God of the heavens. Many today spend months touring all over the world in pursuit of one more soul to the kingdom of God. 
We the church are more open to these talented ladies because of their fervor is real and from the heart. Take some time and look further into the way these women of rock are furthering God's kingdom. It's for the rock of ages, Jesus Christ. Up next, a lady who has had great success with Amy Grant and recently toured Sweden, just recently. Kim Hill released her second album, but before she did, she recorded this great video. Here's Kim Hill and Snake in the Grass on Victory Videos. Enjoy. We're gonna reap what we sown Cause His light shines on our darkness But what really troubles me Is what the seed may be When it has grown Cover up your deep Well, that's our program for today. Be encouraged. If you're a woman with a word from God and a song in your heart, share it with others. 
because people still need to hear about how Jesus can forgive your sins. That's right. And we hope you feel encouraged men also and know that His love shines out to you too. Yes. And all you need to do is receive Him into your heart today. Thanks for being with us. We ask you to come back next week because we'll be right here for you. I'm Eve McHugh. And I'm Dave Dobbins. Remember to love somebody today with the love of Jesus. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.